Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options. Then we need to select troubleshoot. Then select advanced options and then click on command prompt. Now type chk dsk space slash f space slash r space c colon and hit enter. Now we need to wait for some time to complete the process. Now we need to type this command c colon and simply press enter. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute the command. Type in cd space windows and press enter. Then type cd space system32 and hit enter to execute the command. Now type cd space config and hit enter. Then type md space backup and hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space backup and hit enter now type md backup one and hit enter now type copy star dot star backup one and simply hit enter to execute the command type in cd space rage back then simply hit enter execute this command type dir then simply hit enter now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter. Type in bootrec space slash fix mbr and hit enter to execute the command. Now type bootrec space slash fix boot and hit enter to execute. Now type cd space c colon slash and simply hit enter. Now execute this command. Type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash rage back then simply hit enter to execute this command type bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd back backup and simply hit enter to execute this command type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type this command md space boot and simply hit enter type cd space boot and hit enter now type md space bcd and simply hit enter to execute this command now type cd space c colon slash and simply hit enter now type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter now execute this command type ren space c colon slash boot slash bcd space bcd dot olg then simply hit enter to execute this command and once done let's move to the next command type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and hit enter type exit and simply hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go